The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. As I speak, our test, test, test. Good morning. Test. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, we're fishing Harry. Thank you for participating in our local protest of Planned Parenthood. We are participating in the national event that is taking place simultaneously in over 300 cities in the United States. My name is Rebecca Birch, and I believe abortion is objectively morally wrong, regardless of how I or others feel or think about it. My argument is as follows. It is wrong to intentionally kill an innocent human being. Abortion intentionally kills an innocent human being. Therefore, abortion is wrong. From the science of embryology, we know that from the earliest stages of development, the embryo is a distinct, living, and whole human being. Philosophically, we know there are no morally significant differences between the preborn babies we once were and the people we are today. Though we differ in size, level of development, environment, and degree of dependency, none of these, ju these differences justify the killing us of, as preborn and not now. My brothers are larger than I am, but this does not give them a right to kill me. Though I am physically more developed than my 10-year-old sister, I am not justified in inflicting harm on her. When I left my home this morning, I changed my location, but this change in location had no bearing on who I am. I, my four and a half month old nephew is certainly more dependent on others for his care than I am, but this does not give me the right to end his life. Abortion is actively ending the life of the preborn child inside the mother for any number of reasons. Women's rights, economic hardship, and psychological pain are a few to name. But regardless of the motivation for abortion, it is wrong and unjustifiable because it intentionally kills a distinct, living, and whole human being who does not differ from those of us who are born in any meaningful way. As the leading abortion provider in the United States, Planned Parenthood kills approximately 330,000 babies every year. As proponents of human justice and rights for all, we are here to protest 
the slaughter of roughly 898 babies by Planned Parenthood a day, an organization that engages in the killing of small humans from whom organs and tissues are harvested for research. As revealed in the seventh video released by the Center for Medical Progress and the Planned Parenthood Clinic in San Jose, California, the brain of a 20-week fetus was brutally cut out of his head while his heart was still beating, as it was considered a hot commodity for research. Because of Planned Parenthood's commitment to performing inhumane acts against the youngest class of people, we went Planned Parenthood defended and ultimately abortion ended. Good morning. I am Dr. Christina Francis and I practice as an OBGYN here in Fort Wayne. I am also a board member of the American Association of Pro-Life Obstetricians and Gynecologists and a speaker for Life Training Institute. I am thankful for the opportunity to join all of you today as we continue to bring to light the illegal and unethical practices of Planned Parenthood. Over the last several weeks, seven videos have been released that have confirmed something that has been known for quite some time. Planned Parenthood is not only profiting off of and preying on vulnerable women, but they are focused on destroying innocent human lives and profiting off of the piecemeal sale of their body parts. In the most recent video released, a former technician for STEM Express, one of the companies that bought fetal organs from Planned Parenthood, details how babies were delivered alive and then dissected for their organs. A child with a heart that was still beating was dismembered. We were asked to procure uh, certain tissues like brain, liver, thymus, pancreas, heart, lungs, and pretty much anything on the, on the fetus. A lot of people want to do exact marks these days. We're looking for specific notes, maybe the test date. I was like, wow, I, I didn't even know. Good for them. I remember leaving that day, like, what have I got myself into? As these videos have exposed, Planned Parenthood is not only committing unethical and illegal acts in harvesting organs from babies that are still alive, they are also clearly breaking at least three other federal statutes. In the first video, Dr. Deborah Nukatola, National Medical Director for Planned Parenthood, describes doing essentially a partial birth abortion and making sure she crushed above the thorax in order to obtain liver and lungs to be sold for research. Partial birth abortions have been illegal on a federal level in the U.S. since 2003. Changing the abortion procedure in order to obtain tissue is also illegal according to federal law. Planned Parenthood is very clearly changing how they do abortions in order to obtain fetal tissue for research companies. The third federal law they are breaking states you cannot profit from the sale of fetal tissue. Multiple times in multiple videos, they are seen discussing how to get higher compensation for the tissue. In fact, a flyer given to Planned Parenthood by STEM Express states that the sale of tissue will benefit the clinic financially. In one video, the parts of these babies are referred to as just a matter of line items. We are here today to call for the end of the evil that is abortion. Planned Parenthood, the nation's largest abortion provider, is not only killing hundreds of thousands of innocent human beings and profiting off the sale of their organs, they are victimizing women in the process. They say we are waging a war on women, but it is in fact Planned Parenthood that is waging this war. Planned Parenthood claims that abortion is only 3% of the services they provide. However, looking at their own numbers, they performed over 320,000 abortions in 2013 alone. This was 12% of the services they provided that year and nearly the same number of pap smears as they performed. For every adoption referral they made, they performed 174 abortions. We know that abortion can lead to significant psychological trauma for both mothers and fathers. Abortion also increases the risk of breast cancer and preterm delivery in future pregnancies. Doesn't this sound like the real war on women? As an OBGYN, I believe in providing compassionate and quality care to both my female patients and their unborn children. I believe in healing and forgiveness for those that have been deceived into believing the lie of abortion. Not only does abortion kill an innocent and defenseless human being, it also victimizes women. Planned Parenthood is not focused on women's health care. Their goal is to profit from the slaughter of innocent humans and they target vulnerable women. 
Why should we, as taxpayers and concerned citizens, support these practices? Let us stand together so that people will know the truth of what Planned Parenthood stands for. Let us call for an end to their barbaric practices. And let us demand the defunding and closure of Planned Parenthood. Thank you. Every provider has had patients who want to donate their tissue, and they absolutely want to accommodate them. They just want to do it in a way that is not perceived as this clinic is selling tissue, this clinic is making money off of this. Okay, so um, when, when you are or if the plan is dedicated with that monetary, yes, so that it doesn't raising the question of this is this is what it's about, this is the thing. What what price range would you you know, I I could throw a number out. I would say it's probably anywhere from thirty to a hundred dollars depending on the facility and what's involved. The thirty to hundred dollar price or that's per yes. specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. Yes. My name is Will Carlin. I'm a former justice writer and intern with the Pro-Life group Created Equal and a current member and event organizer with the local student group Advocates for Justice. I want to thank everyone for coming out to our event today, our peaceful protest against the violence of Planned Parenthood and their abortion practices. Uh, six weeks ago, the first video was released uh, exposing Planned Parenthood's, Planned Parenthood's involvement in the sale of aborted baby body parts. Since then, six more videos have been released exposing their involvement in this practice and showing top doctors and directors of Planned Parenthood discussing this practice while joking about things like buying Lamborghini with the profits. And one, doc one director of Planned Parenthood referred to the fetuses, the babies, as nothing more than line items. To Planned Parenthood, the babies are just line items to be prepared, shipped, just to bring in the money. There's Planned Parenthood's slogan is care, no matter what. That doesn't sound like care to me. It sounds like the only thing they care about is the money. It's time for that to end. It's time for abortion to end. We, the members of Advocates for Justice, together with citizens of Fort Wayne, stand together with the citizens of over 300 cities nationwide today, calling for the defunding of Planned Parenthood. But it is far past time for the defund defunding of Planned Parenthood. It is time to defeat Planned Parenthood. It is time to end Planned Parenthood, to end abortion. We stand in peaceful protest of the violence of abortion. And we're here to make a statement, a statement to Planned Parenthood and to the nation that we're not okay with this, that abortion is wrong, that it's time for it to end. Thank you. Now here's another thought, is you know, we can talk about specimen as per specimen per case or per procured tissue sample, which would be so that if we're able to get a liver thymus pair you know, maybe that is $75 per specimen. And so that's for, you know, for liver thymus pair, and that's 150 versus if we can get liver thymus, okay. brain hemisphere, and all that, then, you know, and, and so that, that protects us so that we're not paying for what we can't use. <laughs> um, and, uh, I mean, it also, I think it also okay. maybe illustrates things. It's been years since I've talked about conversation, so let me just figure out what others are getting at. Park and it's fine. If it's still low, then we can come back. You would. I want to live with you. I want to live with you. Don't we all, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm Phoebe, Vice President of IPFW Students for Life. 51% of women having abortions are my age, under 25. I can imagine how facing an unplanned pregnancy would be very frightening. In this situation, looking for support at Planned Parenthood, I would be horrified to find out the truth, that Planned Parenthood is using women to make money while lying to them about the abortion procedures and failing to get consent for taking and selling their baby's body parts. 
The things I have heard from former Planned Parenthood employees and the former procurement technician in the Center for Medical Proce Progress's videos show that women are not being treated honestly at Planned Parenthood. But this, even though it is unthinkable, is not the greatest evil that Planned Parenthood performs regularly. The act that brings in the most money and is the most evil is the act of abortion itself. Planned Parenthood is the largest abortion provider in the nation, performing over 320,000 abortions each year. Now this wouldn't be terrible if abortion were justifiable, but science has shown us differently. Embryologists agree that we are human beings from the moment of conception. Because of this, we can safely say that abortion kills human beings. For this reason, abortion is wrong no matter the circumstances. When I saw the images of abortion procedures, I was faced with a decision. Do I ignore this and in my silence agree with it? Or do I fight abortion and help the women who are in tough situations? I chose to fight it to the best of my ability and to be there for these women whenever I can. This is why I'm here today, to expose the illegal and inhumane practices of Planned Parenthood for the protection of women and children. Yes, I get discouraged sometimes, but I will never give up until abortion is outlawed and Planned Parenthood is held accountable for what they are doing. Thank you all for coming here and the census. So, why are we all here? I'm here uh, representing the American Association of Pro-Life OBGYNs and here in conjunction with Advocates for Justice to call for an end to the illegal practices that are being performed by Planned Parenthood and also call for the defunding of uh, federal funds going to Planned Parenthood. And you can hear the uh, cars beeping in, in our favor. That's right. That's right. You know, we are asking the citizens of Fort Wayne to stand together in this, to tell Planned Parenthood they are not welcome in this community. Um, it's going to take us acting on a local level. We can't just depend on our national officials to end this. We need to band together as, as um, locals in the city, and then that will spread then to the state and to the national level. And we are today one of um, over 300 protests over that are 300. that are occurring simultaneously across the country. Oh my goodness! Well, that you know, really it shouldn't even be this way. You should never have Planned Parenthood. You're right. You're right. You know, Roe v. Wade should have never become law like it did. Um, but you know, now is the time. As as you could see, there are young people that are leading this fight, and to me, that's very encouraging to say this is not just um, people in their 30s, 40s. 40s, 50s who are calling for an end to abortion. It's teenagers and, and kids in their 20s that are calling for an end to this because they realize that this really is the greatest moral injustice of our time. Okay. I am just delighted that this generation of students is taking over the fight for life. This is going to be the generation that sees an end to abortion in the United States starting right here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. There are hundreds standing with the students today and I couldn't be more pleased. God is gracious, God is merciful, and his timing is always perfect. I'm Silas McCulfer. Hello, Simon. Hi. I'm doing good. So many people are saying yes to us via the car, and talking mm -hmm. no horns and all that. Mm -hmm. So you're one of the organizers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how many are you here? Um, we uh, we don't have an official estimate yet, but we're looking like uh, we're we're looking like over 500 people here today. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. and, and the main reason that you put this together is, is what? Um, we, uh, my friends Elizabeth Nelson and William Carlin and I. Um, saw the videos uh, about Port Planned Parenthood selling body parts um, and and we saw the, this national event getting started and we we decided we wanted to be out we wanted to make sure we could gather people to um, to protest against Planned Parenthood to give a public witness that we do not approve of Planned Parenthood's um, evil practices and we don't approve of them uh, taking advantage of women and and, uh, and lying, to, lying to the women, uh, killing their babies, and selling their body parts. Men regret lost fatherhood. I'm just saying what's on your sign. That's an important fact too. And what's on the back? 
Women do regret abortion. That's right. That's right. Yes, men. Uh, yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm glad you're holding that up. Women need love, not abortion. Yes. Before nine o'clock on a beautiful day, seeing a lot of people I haven't seen before supporting pro-life. A lot of young people are out here. A lot of kids with their babies. Oh, it's exciting! It's I mean this is pro-life, so it's natural. Families are going to come. Pastor Peter Scare, one of my favorite pastors, of course, <laughs> who I have interviewed many times. There was a family that was going in with three children. The mother was pregnant with the fourth child, and they were going in to get an abortion because they said they couldn't afford another child. They were getting, they were had to go to a shelter and so forth. So the Four Days for Life people convinced them not to do that and to come to the pregnancy center. And they raised funds for this family, got them into a hotel, then got them a mortgage, I mean a down payment on an apartment for oh. rent in an apartment and, and really helped them out. And I don't know, I don't think the woman's had the baby yet, but they followed them right up through and saved that baby from 40 Days for Life. Now that's beautiful. It is beautiful, yes it is. So what brings you here to this protest? Well, we are here with a lot of these other wonderful people because we are protesting Planned Parenthood and what it stands for and what it has done in more recent times in the not only killing of babies but then dissecting them and then selling the baby boys. That is positively beyond description as to horrific. And so we want the funding for them, the federal funding, and any funding for them eliminated completely. And so we're part of the, the, the group that's here and, and grateful to God that we have the opportunity to do that. Thank you, sir. Yes. Amen. Well, it's a good turnout for the protest here today. It certainly is. There's far more people here than I ever hoped or imagined would show up. I think we're in the neighborhood of four to 500 people oh who've shown goodness. up to um, be a witness to the community that we don't want little babies uh, killed in our community. And um, protesting things, of course, that we've uh, uh, sadly found out about what goes on behind the closed doors of Planned Parenthood. And um, that's why we're here and we're delighted to be joined by so many supporters. And everybody's honking their horns. So yes, it's exciting. Oh it's it's good to know we're not standing alone. Well, no one's moving over at Planned Parenthood, are they close? I think they're closed today. Yeah, which is good. Yes. Any day they're closed is a good day. It's a good day. Yes. Uh, uh, anything you'd like to tell my audience? About? I, I would just like to encourage everyone that the, if, they're in, in, if they're in the midst of a crisis pregnancy or know anyone who is, please call your local crisis pregnancy center. There's hope and help as near as your phone. Don't make a decision in isolation or in haste that you may regret for the rest of your life. We're here to stand with you.
up above So until we meet again Godspeed, my love God is with us always for the rest of us